What's up everybody, Will Borza here, the LA Recordist. Today we're going to talk about the number one most important thing you can do when you master a song. It's the analog vlog. It's a vlog. Analog. Alright, so here's a common misconception. Uh, the common misconception is that the number one thing to do in mastering is to make it louder. Which um, can often be the case, I should say, but that is definitely not the number one thing to do in mastering. The number one thing you must do every time you sit down to master has much more to do with this, with this, and with this. So before we get into it, if this is your first time here, uh, thank you for watching. Please hit that subscribe button, uh, helps me, it helps you. This is the kind of stuff we talk about here. If you want more of this content, you know where to find it. Okay, so the most important question that I ask myself every time I sit down to master how does this song make me feel? And if it lacks in any way, how can I make this song make me feel the way it's trying to make me feel? Does that make sense? There are sad songs that, if you master it the right way, can make you sadder. There are dancey tracks that, if you master it the right way, physically makes you want to get up out of your seat. Finding that emotional pull, that actual emotion that that song wants to make you feel because songs are emotional. Songs want to make you feel something. Always. So determining and acknowledging exactly what that emotion is and then being able to draw it out of the song, that is one of the most important things you can do. So really the number one thing that I can do for any song that I am mastering is to listen to it and let it tell me where it wants to go. Now, let me talk about a specific case here. It takes serious humility as a person hired to do the job of mastering a song to listen to a song and sign off on it. Sometimes a song will come in and my entire job of mastering is just simply listening to it and saying, yes, this is done, and then building parts, uh, master parts for delivery, like vinyl and master for iTunes and high quality waves, streaming friendly waves, that kind of stuff. So that's basically it. The number one thing that I can do, that any mastering engineer can do when mastering is number one, use my ears to listen to the song and let the song tell you where it wants to go and then take it there. Use my heart to assess what the song makes me want to feel and then make it make me feel that and use my head to know when a song is just right and signing off on it right there. So I guess that's it. That is the number one thing that you can do as a mastering engineer. Pay attention to this, pay attention to this, pay attention to this. Serve the song. Music mastered musically. That is my motto. So if you like this content, please give it a share, give it a like, subscribe. You know what to do. Uh, you can find me on Facebook. Uh, you can go to the Analog Mob. That's sort of a little discussion forum for all this kind of stuff. And yeah, Instagram, the LA Recordist. I'm everywhere. See you guys next time. Peace.